hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to al's agrology Mecca. please remember to subscribe comment like and share today we are looking at agricultural science school based assessment part 5 on my channel you will find information on parts 1 2 4 of the agricultural science school based assessment and also information and human and social biology remember to subscribe so that when new information is posted you will be notified let's go so we are picking up from part four and now we are looking at collection of data indicate how you have collected the data for the crops from the measuring of the plants to the weighing of the fruits also ensure that your photos are labeled you also want to indicate your result your collected data and so you have your tables with your information and you have weeks and week one to six we have cucumbers in centimeter that's the stem of the cucumber grown with inorganic fertilizer and the third column cucumbers in centimeter that's this, the height of the stem grown with organic fertilizer and the organic fertilizer is fall manure right ensure that your table is also labeled all right so then you present your data and you can use bar graph line graph and pie charts so you should use more than one form to present your data so here we have the bar graph and we have pie charts one showing the vine length one showing the total yield also analyze both charts comparing what is happening in each separately so for example the graph showing vine length for week one the cucumbers that were grown with organic fertilizer they were two centimeter less in height than those grown with inorganic so you analyze each differently all right so now you move on to your presentation of data so you're going to be presenting and interpreting your data so now we're looking at interpretation of data here you have three columns again for week one cucumbers that were grown with inorganic fertilizer which is 11 22 22 it's 14 centimeter long for the stem the stem of the cucumber is grown with organic or full manure, 11 cm. Now you are going to analyze by saying, taking away 11 from 14, so you have 3 cm. So you are going to indicate that those cucumbers that were grown with inorganic fertilizer were in week 1 were 3 cm longer. So the stem was 3 cm longer or taller than those grown with organic. And you do that from weeks one to six then you move on to your discussion because you have to discuss your result and in discussing your results you have to cite references so you can go online search for references or literature containing similar experiment look at their experiment look at their results look, compare their result with your result and discuss the information citing at least two literature now for your conclusion indicate if the difference in fertilizer affect production and crop of growth of the crop also conclude based on your result aim and problem statement also indicate which fertilizer will allow the farmer to realize more profit based on the yield weight and the growth rate of crops at the end of the growing period so your conclusion does not have to be a page but it should summarize your result then you're going to be looking at your limitation what are some of the things that were out of your control that affected the investigation for example soil erosion took place due to heavy rain that destroyed some of your crops or seeds were not viable so all the seeds planted did not germinate 
or is that COVID-19 pandemic affected the sourcing of your seed or the cultivation of your crop? Or is it that the research was only done once, so it is not the result might not be reliable or valid? Now you move on to your recommendation. For each limitation given, you give a solution or a recommendation. Provide some solution to your recommendations. For example, you might want to complete the project more than once for reliability and validity because guess what? It was only done once. Or you can cultivate a control plot, right? And then you analyze the results. So the control plot would have cucumbers grown with both organic and inorganic fertilizer. While you have another one with just organic and another one with inorganic. And you will now analyze your result to see how valid and reliable the results are. Then for your reference page, ensure that all the references cited in your discussion, they are placed on your reference page. The references should have the name of the author, the title, and the date of publication, right? And ensure that they are in APA format, all right? So this is the end of part five of the Agricultural Science School-Based Assessment. Stay tuned for part six, but remember now to subscribe, like, comment, and share so that when any new information is added to ALS Agrology Mecca, you will be notified. Stay tuned for part six, SBA.